Hey Welcome to TacosOfGeeks.com. Justin here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the manga Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. As always, we're going to give you a brief synopsis. So, here we go. At Kamomo, oh, at Kamomo, Kamome, there it is, Kamome Academy, rumors abound about the school's seven mysteries, one of which is Hanako, said to occupy the third store or the third floor girls' bathroom in the old school building. Hanako-san grants any wish when summoned. Uh, Nini, an occult-loving high school girl who dreams of romance, ventures into this haunted bathroom. But the Hanako-san she meets there is nothing like she imagined. And Hanako turns out to be a boy. And this is volume one, and I, um, this is from Yen Press. I actually enjoyed reading this. This was actually, it's a nice, light-hearted, fun manga. And as always, I'm not going to spoil the story, but I am just going to show you a little bit of the artwork because that's why I always start off with the manga reviews. I really love the artwork in this. It's very, it has just, it's not chibi. Um, it's not like a chibi style type of art, but the, because these kids are more younger, they look, they, they, they're drawn as that kind of like chibi with the chibi type of eyes that I do like so I, I did I do like the the design of these actual characters and it's actually a really fun story I one thing I think really works for me is the relationship between Nini and Hanako and the first introduction of her trying she has this wish of this boy to fall in love with her and so she goes into that third store and hoping that uh, Hanako, Hanako can actually fulfill that wish but things are not what they seem and there's, there, there's this running theme that goes on it's like hey if I grant your wish you have to give something up in return and you find that Hanako is not exactly all it cracks up to be the spirit that grants wishes it's kind of it, it, it's kind of the spirit that's just like Okay, how I'm gonna grant this? It, it, in the beginning, you you think that Hanako just kind of comes off as kind of a rookie because he's trying to figure out like, okay, so how I'm supposed to grant this girl this love wish? I mean, yeah, yeah, I I, I had a lot of love spells before, and it goes into this such a hilarity of trying to get this guy who who um, Nini likes that she just can't seem to get in, and it's just some a, a nice. Uh, characterization hijinks. I think what really works for me is the relationship between these two. They, these, the way it's written and the way it's drawn, these characters play off well enough with each other that it really keeps you interested. The plot is very simple and it's not complicated at all, but it does have some really good light heart moments. They have some really funny moments as well, especially like when the first time um, she describes the the guy that she likes that she has a crush on and what he says to her and he's just like oh I don't like girls who have this certain type of legs and it just kind of crushes her it's the way I'm not the way I'm describing it is not funny but when you read it you're like man he's kind of a dick but the way he says it, it comes off it's actually a very funny scene I will recommend this to pick up I actually do enjoy I, I actually did enjoy this one I thought it was very funny I thought it was well written uh, the art style is very beautiful and you know it's, it's 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 younger characters so I think this is something that the younger audience and uh, this is a good start for people who want to get into I will say who wants to get into uh, manga and have something not as dark or something just fun that's a nice easy read with some really good artwork and some really good um dialogue and some really intriguing characters and the way they play off is but it's just some really fun characters so i'm definitely gonna give this a recommend i say pick it up i'm gonna give this a b i had it i had very much fun reading this it's a fun book some really fun characters um, forgive me if I totally botched the name. I know you guys are going to probably eat to me in the comic section, but hey, it happens. Um, so this is Justin from Tacos of Geeks. I say toilet bound, Hanako Kun, it's a, it's, a, it's a win. Pick it up um, from Young Press. It's a really good one, nice volume one. I'm, I'm going to check this out more and, and see. Uh, for those who want to know the price, it's $13 in the U.S., $17 in Canadian. And you can also go to yenpress.com to uh, pick up the book as well. This is Justin from TacosGeeks.com saying later days. I will catch you in the next review. Peace.